and welcome to another episode of the Theater Professor Vidcast. My name is Terry Dina Jakimiak II, and I am the Theater Professor, and I'm glad you're joining us today. We are going to be talking about a little art app that is a lot of fun and harkens back to the uh, Japanese style and Chinese style of art. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. If we scroll over into my art apps, we will find a little app right here called Zen Brush. I'm going to click on that app and open it up. Zen Brush is a very simple app, an app that I like uh, to use when I just want to sketch something, nothing definite. Maybe I'm sitting outside, I'm looking at a tree, I'm watching cars go by, I see, you know, I see a building that I really like. This is a wonderful app for that, and it's an app that is non-permanent, and you'll see what I mean as we kind of go through this. First off, let's look at what we have. This is what you get. Okay, it's very simple. You have a rectangular screen that is white, and you have a menu bar that can either be at the bottom or the top. And to switch those locations all the way on the left there is a little arrow that's pointing up. If I press that button, the menu bar goes up to the top. If I press that button again, the menu bar goes down to the bottom. Very simple, very easy. Right to its, uh, directly to its right, you see a size, a number, and a brush. This is what's going to control the size of whatever brush you're using. You can see as I scroll it up and scroll it down, it gets larger and smaller. We're gonna start just, we'll start right around six for right now. The next set of menu items you have there, oh, excuse me, I'm a little stuffy this week. And the, uh, the next set of menu items you have there uh, you will see the first three are different colored dots. That is for the opacity of your pen. So the first one is your darkest, your middle one is your middle, and your third one is your lightest. And then the final two icons are the erasers for this app. The first one is a hard eraser, the second one is a soft eraser, and you'll see what I mean by that in a minute. Let's real quick, before we continue on, let's look at these items. Right now you can see I'm at size 6. And I'm at the first icon, which is the dark black circle. Okay. You can see it's a dark black line. If we switch to the middle one and draw again, it's lighter. And the third one is the lightest. And that is all the control you have over both your color, well, kind of, your color choices and your darkness of your line. All right. And then if we switch to the eraser, we'll start with the first one. You can see, ooh, and I'm too big. Go back down to six. Or right around six, five is fine. This is the solid one. Nice, strong. If I switch to the second one, you can see it kind of, and as I go over it, you'll see it start to take more off, okay? So it's kind of a soft, almost like one of those malleable erasers you could get for drafting or drawing. Uh, just takes off a little bit at a time. You can see me doing it here. And what I'm having to do here is I have to lift up my stylus after each brush to continue to remove more. Okay, so that is that is the extent of the tools that you have for this app. So you're probably thinking, but I've got all these other apps that have, you know, all sorts of different things like Procreate and ArtRage, etc. Well, the great thing about this app is you're thinking less about your tools and more about what you're drawing. It gets even more interesting. So let's say I draw something here here, I pick up my stylus, then draw here, here, I pick up my stylus, and I draw here, here. Say I don't like any of those, and I want to undo all the way through. Well, our next icon is our undo button, the little arrow uh, that's curved. If I press it, we undo one. But you notice the arrow switched directions. And if I press it again, it redoes it. Meaning this is just the opposite of something like Art Rage, where you actually only have one level of undo. You can see it is 
that that's all I've got. So if I wanted to undo further, I'd have to switch over to the eraser and erase it manually. What does this do? What does this do for us? Well, as an artist, what it does is uh, one of the things you're taught, well, I was taught very early on is to don't go back in a race. Just keep moving forward. Okay. And what they, what, what, what I interpreted and, and how I understood that to be is that don't worry about the mistakes you're making. You're going to make mistakes. Continue drawing and remedy it as you go along. If you focus on the mistakes, all you're going to do is continue to make mistakes. So continue moving forward. So that is our, our singular undo. Our next icon here is probably the most interesting on this whole thing, and it's the different types of paper. First, let me show you. This is just a quick scroll. So you can see there is a lot of different types. Starting in the plain white is your beginners. Switch to plain black. You notice that our colors of our pens change. So even though I've got the darkest pen right now, it's the lightest. And then, of course, mid is mid. And now the lightest is the darkest. Okay. Japanese paper one. Japanese paper 2 and Japanese paper 2 is actually the paper that I use most often because I whoa and we're going crazy 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 um it's it's the one I just I, I like the best I think the black ink works really well on it Japanese paper 3 Japanese paper 4 which has an interesting little purple hue and then old paper in your standard section you then have the colored paper which is uh, you know, if you, I guess if you really like different colored paper, that's nice and, and all. And the, these next ones are framed ones. So Japanese paper, you can see there's a frame around the Japanese paper. Modern Japanese, high quality paperboard, scroll, and this one's actually really kind of interesting. Sketchbook, ink wash painting. You can kind of see it there. Wood, silver frame, gold frame, color frame black, color frame white, color frame red, color frame green, and of course, can't leave out, color frame blue. So those are all the framed papers. Next up you have seasons, and really it's decorative paper, I guess would be the best way to put it. Uh, these are not papers that I generally use. Here's an interesting one, Summer 2. Notice that our ink has changed yet, ag yet again to kind of a an ochre. And you'll see that as you go through, depending on the background, the ink will be one color or another. Oh, this is metal pink, yellow, blue. And then you have special papers. Um... Kakizome. Shine. Shine's actually kind of cool. Sky. Creamy. Focus line. Lantern. Moon. Blackboard. Which is greenish. <laughs> Papyrus. Grunge. And then coffee filter. I'm going to go up to my favorite up here, which is, like I said, Japanese too. Our next, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, our next icon down here on the bottom is the share button. You can save it as a photo, post to Twitter. There are more apps. You, there's a ZenBrush art book and external accessories. And for those of you that, for example, have the Zsa stylus, etc., that's where you, um, you adjust those. And then the more apps, um, I clicked it and it did this. Oh, oh, these are more apps by the same maker. As you can see, the ZenBrush uh, app is $2.99 for those of you that are interested. Let me go back to this. And then finally, you have this what's called a trash can here. And the reason you have that is because these are not saved. They, it, the, the app itself does not save any of these files other than what is currently on your screen. So, for example, if I would go out of this app, I'm going to close it out completely. And then I were to go back into it. 
you would see what I was working on last. But there's no way to save that other than sharing it to, you know, save as a photo. And when you hit the trash, it cleans off that paper and it's gone forever. And you got to go back in there. Oh, I don't like that. That's too big. I do get one undo. Um. And you start to draw and you just kind of kind of have some fun with it. Make my little tree here. I love trees. And then what I like to actually do is come back in. Maybe. And the great thing about these multiple different um you know, middle dark light is you can do a distance thing. So for example, my front one could be a dark one like that. And then let's say I have one back here. It's got a little distance to it. It's hidden behind this tree. And then you could have one way back in the back here. It's my light one. So that's what I like about it is is you can create a sense of distance, you know. Um, well, frick, I can't think of the term now, but um, atmospheric distance. There we go, atmospheric distance using these, and I love the style of them. Uh, the other thing is, so that's me going slow. The slower I go, you'll see, the more it kind of fills up, and then the faster I go. You can see you almost get the brush strokes to it, right? So I'm going to clear this. You could even, you know, sign your name. It's also very, very smooth. I like that too, is that, you know, as I... Oh, let me go. Let me reduce my size real quick. As I draw... It's a very smooth feel to it, right? And so to show you, for example, this is, sometimes I save my pictures. Let me go into my photos. So this is one that I, I just, I, just, I was looking at a wall and a column and, and kind of messing around and just kind of throwing sketches up there. Um, I did this in it. and. Again, this is the kind of stuff that I do in it. Is I'll just be, I'll just be sitting somewhere. For example, right now I'm sitting at my desk, right? And I, you know, I'm looking and I see uh, my computer screen, you know, and I'm like, duh, 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 duh. I usually don't have a mic. Ugh. I usually don't have a microphone between me and my iPad, which makes this usually a little more difficult. Ugh. I like the one undo, but uh, let's see, coming down this way. You know, you can kind of, and this actually comes like this, and, oh, I do, I've got my little, my uh, camera up here, and, you know, maybe I erase a little bit, and you can't zoom in or anything like that, so it's a very, very simple program. What I would do is, uh, you know, if, if you're looking for a program where you don't necessarily want all the bells and whistles because what you want to do is you want to focus on what you're drawing. This is a great tool if you're doing like life drawing and you're not you're not worried about whether or not it's perfect. You're worried about practice because every time you finish a page, you just hit this button and you save it as a photo. Boom. And then you clean it and you keep going. So you can go back and look at at the pieces that you've been drawing. And this is, like I said, this is a pretty cheap app. It's $2.99, doesn't cost a lot, and um, can, can kind of give you that satisfaction of just sitting there and focusing on the art itself. All right. Well, my name is Terry Dana Chikimak. I am the theater professor, and this is a vidcast. Again, this is for Zen Brush. I suggest you check it out if you haven't. Also, stop by my website, HTTP, HTTP, I usually don't say that, and www.thetheaterprofessor.com. 
you can get a lot of information there in regards to the other apps that I've uh, that I've um, uh, showcased. I guess would be the best way of of saying it. And um, also sign up for the newsletter. It'll keep you updated whenever things come out uh, at the, on the website when I'm doing live webinars or you know another videos coming out or a podcast, etc. So again, last one, Terry Dan and Jimmy Mac, the second. This is the Theater Professor Vidcast. And uh, continue on with your art. Thanks.